Hi, my name is Craig Moffer from Applied Magic. For the past 10 years, Applied Magic has provided video production workflow solutions for our customers. Our goal is to find the easiest solution and still deliver professional results. Today I would like to show you a simple workflow for converting this VHS tape into an authored DVD with all the labels. I will be using the DVD Shop Express. Let's get started. First, let me show you some of the equipment I'll be using. I'll be using the DVD Shop Express, an Epson Artisan printer, a continuous ink system, VHS player, and a time base corrector. The tape I'll be transferring is a customer's wedding video. When I open up the DVD Shop program, it will look something like this. I will focus on filling out the information on the setup page first. The top line of the pro is the project ID, so I'm going to put the customer's name in that spot. This could also be a sales order number or anything that helps you recall the job in a future date. Next, I will type in the name of the DVD. This information will be transferred to the menu of the DVD and used on all the labels. So if you don't want a title, then you can leave this area blank. Next, you have the option to fill in the subtitle and the date. In this case, I'm putting the date of the actual wedding. Next, I need to select a menu theme. The DVD shop comes with dozens of themed templates, like the weddings. There's education, business, there's several more. I'm going to select wedding number seven, and the case wrap will look similar to this, and the DVD label will look like this. The duration window is set at two hours. Before you will start recording, you will want to select what you want DVD shop to do once it's finished recording. In this example, I want to print the case wrap and the DVD label. Now I'm ready to start recording. I will click on the red record button and you will see that the green light is blinking. This means the unit is ready to encode. I will insert my VHS tape and wait to make sure video is displayed on the screen. Then I start my encoding by selecting the play button. You should see time code clicking showing that, uh, that it is recording to the hard drive. When the DVD is completed, select the stop button and the video will begin to render as a DVD file. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the length of the video. While it's doing this, the printer will be printing the case wrap and also there's a separate printer that will be printing the DVD label. Once these two are finished printing, take the DVD out of the printer and put it in the DVD shop. Select Write DVD, then click Write. That's it. You now have an author DVD with the label and case wrap. The complete job took less than 10 minutes from the time it was completed recording. For more information about the DVD shop, visit our website at www.applied-magic.com.